In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect AWS Amplify and authentication with your own React application. And this is what the final result will look like. You will have this screen with the sign in tab as well as the create account tab, and then also the option to reset your password. And once you've successfully created your account in the create account tab, you can then log into it. And once you log in, this is what the default template will look like. It'll say hello, and this is like my user ID as well as the option to sign out. And so if you click sign out, you will successfully be signed out. So to begin, we'll go ahead and open up our terminal. I'll be using Visual Studio Code in this example. And the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a React application. And we can do that by going down to our terminal and going ahead and just running the create React app command, which is npx create React app, followed by the folder name. And I'll just name this amplify underscore off tutorial and hit enter. And now you should see it loading and I'll resume the video once this process is complete. So the process is now complete. I'll go ahead and just switch into that folder. And as you can see, these are all of the uh, template files for the basic React application. And now for the next step, we'll go ahead and install the Amplify COI. And we can do that by going to this link and it has the command right here. So I'll go ahead and just copy and go back to my terminal and go ahead and hit enter. And I'll resume the video once everything is done installing. And now that my installation is complete, we'll go ahead and go to the second step outlined in this article. And that's going to involve just running the amplify configure command to configure some settings. And so I'm just going to go ahead and just copy this command and go back to my terminal and just run the command. And once you run the command, it should open up your AWS management console. And just be sure to be logged in before you do this. And you should see this screen uh, once you run the command. And now if we go back to the terminal, it will say press enter to continue. So go ahead and do that. And just select your own region. I'm just going to do US East 1. And here we can just specify a username for a new IAM user. So here I'll just do what it suggests. And once you hit enter, you're going to be prompted with this screen. Go ahead and just click next. As well as next here. And just hit next review. And then on this final page, go ahead and just click create user. And once you have done all those steps, you should see the success screen. And this is really important just to make sure you copy both your access key ID as well as the secret access key because that is what the terminal prompt will ask you. So now if we switch back to Visual Studio Code, it's going to ask us to press enter. So go ahead and just click enter and then enter your access key ID. So I'm just going to copy it here. And then it's going to ask you for your secret access key. I'm going to go ahead and just paste it. And then it's going to ask you for a profile name. Just go ahead and name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to name it Amplify Tutorial Default User. And once you've done all those steps, you should see this message where it says successfully set up the new user. And once we're done completely setting up our new user, the next step would be to initialize the AWS Amplify settings within our React project. And we can do that by running the command Amplify init. And then it's going to ask us for a name of the project. I'm just going to use the default name. And here, um, it automatically filled out my settings, but it's probably going to ask you for each setting. So just make sure to copy the exact settings I have, uh, such as like the environment, just put dev. For default editor, just choose the editor you're using. And just make sure to copy the rest of these um, exact like commands, just like I have it here. And once you've done all those steps, it's going to ask you to initialize the project. Go ahead and just type in Y and click Enter. And then it's going to ask you for the authentication method. Go ahead and just click on AWS profile and select the user that we just made. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the Amplify Tutorial default user that I just created in the previous step. And now it's going to initialize the project and I'll resume the video once this is done. And once this process is done, you should see a success message similar to what I have where it says your project has been successfully initialized and connected to the cloud. And now if we look in our folder structure, we should see a new folder called Amplify. And here is where it has all of the Amplify settings that we'll be using. And now for the next step, we'll be creating the AWS Amplify authentication. And we can do that just by typing in Amplify add auth. And now you should see it's asking us for uh, which configuration we can use. Just go ahead and click on default configuration, hit enter. And here we're just going to be selecting email. And here you can just click no, I'm done. And now you should see that we've created a new resource for the Amplify off. 
And now all we have to do is go ahead and push these settings to our Amplify project. And we can do that by just typing in Amplify push. And now it's uploading the files and I'll resume this process once this is done. And also just when you get to this step, uh, make sure to just hit uh, yes to continue. And once this process is complete, you should see a message similar to this saying all resources are updated in the cloud. And now for the final step, we can go ahead and just add the Amplify off settings to the React application now. And to begin this process, if we go back to the article, um, it says here that we need to install this Amplify UI React library. So we can go ahead and just copy this command that has here and hit enter. And once that is done installing, we can just go back to the article and just copy the sample code they have here and go back to our React application, go to app.js and go ahead and just paste the exact code that we copied and hit save. And now we can go ahead and run the application by typing the command npm start and just hit enter. And go ahead and just run the application. It should open up in a new tab. And if you've done everything correctly, you should now see a screen very similar to mine where you now see like a sign in tab as well as a create account tab. And now we can test it and make sure it's working. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create an account. And I'm just going to be using a temporary email in this example. We'll go ahead and type in the email as well as a password. And hit create account. And now if I check the temporary email, you can see I got a verification code. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste it. And hit confirm. And now it automatically signed me in. And as you can see, uh, it says hello. And this is like my user ID as well as the sign up button. And this is the exact example that I showed you previously. And now you've successfully connected AWS Amplify and authentication to your own React application. Hopefully you found this video really helpful and informative. I tried to make this video as concise and easy to follow as possible. If you did find this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.